Just a few days before Father's Day, an Ohio father murders his three sons in front of their mother and their stepsister. What on earth is going on in this world? Well, hey folks, it's Mike from Profiling Evil. And uh, you know what? No lead-ins, no other discussion other than absolute sadness. This one really impacted me. I'm actually up in the mountains working on some fence line and uh, listened to the news as I was uh, fencing and this story came across. I was so overcome, especially with Father's Day approaching tomorrow, that I had to get this story out. I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, this one was so darn tragic to me. It's the, the story of a father who murdered his three sons in front of the mother who tried to stop this assault. In fact, she was shot in the hand during this. The stepdaughter running down the street screaming for help. When police arrived, the three little boys were out laying on the lawn. They took the father into custody. I want, to, I want you to watch this video of the police takedown. There was no resistance. And, and uh, it was almost matter of fact, it was so disturbing. Stand up! Stand up now! Stand up! Stand, Stand the up. fuck up! We on primary? Twenty nine. We got three. Main. Sixty three. Twenty one. Have EMS respond over here. You're clear. They're being advised. Robert thirty four. Just start a mass casualty response. Sixty three. Do you want them to respond to the Laurel Lindale address? Where exactly do you need them? We're right in the front yard. What are you doing, man? Hey, are you copying all this? Can I roll over? I ain't gonna hurt you. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hurt nobody. You got anything on you? No, I ain't got nothing, man. Phone, that's it. I ain't mad, I ain't, I ain't nothing. Just make sure that dog don't come out. I don't think he'll bite you. Just don't reach for him and try to grab him and pet him. He won't bite you. What's going on, man? Nothing. Uh, can I stand up? It's kind of uncomfortable. I'm gonna get I ain't you gonna here do nothing. I ain't running away. You can do whatever you want with me. You the only one else inside the house? What? You the only one else inside yeah, the house? Yeah, yeah. Sit down right uh, here. My my daughter, she ran over to the fire department. Sit down. Uh, it's my stepdaughter. Put him in the cage. This is real. When deputies arrived on the scene, they confronted a 32-year-old father named Chad Dorman sitting on the steps of his residence, and he was taken into custody without any kind of a challenge or problem. The alleged killer appeared in court yesterday to be arraigned on the charges and was assessed a $20 million uh, bond. Now, his defense was asking that they get it down to something like 75000 saying he had job cosigners and that he was married. <laughs> Holy cow, that one of the victims in this case was the woman he was married to. Prosecutors asked for that $20 million bond, the highest they'd ever asked a judge to give in the county. You know, I was really taken back on this one. And I wanna just play this news clip. I was gonna read just comments made by the, the prosecutor, David Gast in this case, but I think you need to capture the emotion of this as he talks. So let's just go into that. 
Yeah, the prosecutors have used words like monstrous and evil to describe what happened at this house on Laura Lindale Road on Thursday. Uh, when we first got out here, there were only like three little stuffed animals at the end of the driveway, but now there are several um, mementos being laid for the three boys, including uh, three crosses. In this story, we must uh, caution you again that some of the details will be hard to hear. 32-year-old Chad Dorman is facing three counts of aggravated murder for allegedly shooting and killing his three sons, ages three, four, and seven. This is by far uh, the most sickening, horrifying uh, crime I have seen. In an act of just incomprehensible cruelty, the father that stands before you lined up his three young boys and he executed them in his own home with a rifle. Assistant Claremont County Prosecutor David Gass says Dorman then sat on his front porch and waited for deputies to arrive. Gass says Dorman has confessed to the killings and to shooting the boy's mother in the hand as she grabbed the rifle in an attempt to protect them. The mother saw this. Uh, you can imagine the, the immense trauma and terror that she experienced. We know that one of the boys was able to flee into a field near the home. And again, we know from his admission, father hunted that boy down, drug him back to the property, and executed him in front of the witnesses. I have children of my own, and I can not imagine doing something to my own children like that. The memorial for the boys has grown throughout the day outside their home. I could never imagine that in my life. If I didn't love my child, I'd give it to somebody that did. Prosecutors told the judge that Dorman was the man the three boys woke every day looking to for love, protection, and guidance. The man they trust more than any other person on earth. He was their world. He was their guardian. And he executed them in cold blood. I don't know if you caught that, folks, but Gas said that one of the children fled the scene and was hunted down by his father, dragged back to the scene, and then executed in front of witnesses. You tell me, is this evil or is this absolute mental illness? I have no idea. And we do see some compassion or at least emotion on the father's part as he stands during that arraignment. Uh, you can see the tears running down his face, but holy cow, like that lawyer said, in 35 years of, of uh, <laughs> prosecuting, it, in his opinion, is the most sickening, horrifying crime that he's ever has seen. And he can only imagine the terror those little boys felt. And I just have to echo that. I was so taken back by this one that I just wanted to say before Father's Day, there are a lot of good dads out there trying to do their best. Some dads are estranged from their children, still trying to do their best. What on earth went wrong in this one? I have no idea. Folks, in a few hours, I'm going to be releasing a video on Corey Richens, who's accused of murdering her husband. Father's Day is approaching, and those three little boys aren't having a father around on Father's Day. These three little boys aren't around on Father's Day. I'm going to be really interested in your comments, and I hope you'll put them down below. Again, uh, boy, wrap your arms around the things that are, that are the most prized possessions that you own. Uh, from the mountains in Utah. Thanks so much for your support of Profiling Evil. We'll see you soon at the next crime scene.